by now you know what a java is java is a programming language so how you can run and what are the environment setups that you need to do in order to run a java program so here it says what are the properties or what are the specifications that you need to run a java program the certain hardware that you need there are certain software also you need the hardware it says that you need a machine which holds a memory of minimum 64 mb of ram then it says the operating system that you need maybe a linux or a windows operating system 7 8 or anything that is readily available for you then you need an editor text editor where you can actually write your source code which is your java program which needs to be then compiled so this uh, code that you write is a human based language so you need an editor that may be a notepad or you have certain tools available like eclipse or any other text editor we also have a coding ground available which will help you where you can just go write on the program and execute finally you need jdk 8 jdk 8 is nothing but the latest version where you are going to run your program on java standard edition 8 it says that in order to download the jdk 8 where is it available we need to first understand that as java has become very freely available over the network you just need to go click on this download in order to download the jdk 8 file into your system once you complete the download you need to modify or make certain alteration or make the changes in the computer properties one of the property is called path where you go and add the jdk path so that you can run your java program in one of the editors the first it says that how can you run a program on a notepad so you just need to open a notepad go write your program and execute in order to do what are the certain steps and what are the computer properties that you need to set up the next one is eclipse eclipse is nothing but a readily available tool which allows you to write your java program run and compile it so instead of opening a text editor and then going to command from running the code java c and all you can directly just go write the code and execute your program in case of eclipse the next one is a coding ground which is readily available for you in the tutorials point if you think it's difficult for you to run the program in a notepad or you're finding some difficulty in downloading eclipse we also provide you one coding ground at our tutorials point site where you just need to go write down the java program and execute so for now you understand that we can run in java program in various other text editors so the one that we will be seeing is a notepad eclipse using a tool or a coding ground so we will now going forward we'll see in our practicals how can you run a sample program using any of them so let us now see how you can install a java that is your jdk file so in order to do that we need to click on the download that is available in your ppt once you click that it will come to this particular website of your oracle where you have this jdk 8 which is the latest version available for free you need to accept this license agreement and then click on to the version and as per your operating system and this will ask where do you want to save i am trying to save it in the d drive this will install your exe file and once you run your exe file it will install your jdk So now we need to run this exe file You need to accept the terms and all just by clicking next and this will complete installing your jdk file which is of version 8 So once you are able to successfully install your JDK 8 version you now need to go and change the my properties of computer that is your my computer path why would you change this path normally this JDK is a software development environment which helps us in developing the java application and applets and these environment it includes your java runtime environment it provides an interpreter that is java 
compiler, Java C, jar files and certain other example and documentation. And to run the Java console based program in Windows, we need Java and Java C. Whereas these two commands are not understood by Windows. So we need to define them explicitly. So let us see how we can define them explicitly. For this, we need to set the path which needs to be specified about the bin folder. So we need to go to my computer. You click on to the properties, advanced system properties, under advanced tab, environment variables, and then you can change the path here or here. So if you change here, it will change for a particular user and if you want to change path for everyone, you need to come and search here. So we select path, edit. Now at the end, you need to add your JDK file which is stored in your bin folder. So where is that? You need to go back, C drive, program files, Java, JDK 1.8.0, bin folder where your java c resides copy this link and you need to paste it here provide followed with a semicolon okay and then you save the class path that you have saved so this is how you install a Java that is your JDK file, run exe file and change the properties of your class path. We have already seen how we can download the JDK file. In order to use Eclipse, the first step is to install JDK that we have seen in our previous video that is Java SE 8 version. You can download the version that you want. We have installed the latest version. The second step would be to install Eclipse. For that, we need to come to this particular site, www.eclipse.org slash download slash. Click on download 64-bit. Again, we need to click on this download button. And this starts in installing the exe file. You can save and run this file or you can directly run the file. It shall prompt you with a box where it will ask you for what do you want to install Eclipse? Do you want to install for the Java developers? Do you want to install for your PHP programming and so on? So you need to select for what particular purpose are you trying to install Eclipse? For now, we will be installing Java developer because we are trying to run our Java programs. We shall wait for this file to load. And then select the first option which says Eclipse IDE for Java developers. Click on install. This information is just for your information like where is this file being installed? Where is this file being downloaded? So we shall wait for this installation to complete. On installation, you will just need to click on next options to understand and to save in which directory will your Eclipse be installed. So once it is successfully installed, we need to launch. We clicked on launch button. And then which directory you would want to store. We are selecting the default one where it appears. If you want, you can make the changes to your directory. You can give any folder that you would want to and then click on OK button. So once you have successfully installed and then launched your Eclipse, this is how your tool looks like. You can go view any documents or tutorials that you would want. How do you create your new project? You would directly select from here or go to your file button, click on it, click on tab, which will show you whether you would want to create your Java project or what kind of a classes packages that you would want to create. So this is how you install your Eclipse and now you can start your Java programming here. So this is where your 
tutorials point coding ground is available where you can come and execute your java file so this is www.tutorialspoint.com and this is where you come so once you click on to the link provided you can see this coding ground available where you can write your java files so we have created here one class hello world in order to print this file and how would you execute is by providing the statements here as java c to compile and then java to run this particular file 